What's up, you beautiful people? I'm your host, the Danger Dave, and welcome back to Max Payne. I'm gone. I'd be no match for Frankie's men. I'd have to play hide and seek with them. All right, so we're back in the uh, slum hotel. Uh, you'll probably remember this uh, area because uh, there's the Captain Baseball uh, Captain Baseball Bat Boy comic, and this is where we first got the baseball bat. Now we don't have a gun; we just have the baseball bat. So before you head out, be sure to uh, open up this little locker here. To get you some painkillers and uh, go ahead and down both of them because we will definitely need it. Now. Uh -oh. That guy's going that way. There should be a guy. Okay. The way I'm doing this is really reckless. Uh, I don't recommend it, but it can work. Just get right about here. And just start swinging this bat. And you can uh, knock them out as they come to the store. As you can hear, uh, the guys are uh, getting knocked out. Yeah, that should be fine. And uh, dang, look at this pile of bodies. All right. Uh, so there is a guy waiting for us. He is uh, smart. He he's got a double barrel shotgun, so be mindful of that. Alright, that should be everybody, ladies and gentlemen. So if you did what I did, it should be uh, all okay for you. And that way you don't have to worry about uh, dodging these mooks. You can uh, just hit them with a the bat as they come through the door. And you should be uh, free to uh, ransack this place. Because there are guns and uh, painkillers you want to pick up. Okay, there's nobody in there. And there shouldn't be anybody in here. Sweet. Now, uh, you're going to want to uh, search everywhere uh, for guns and ammo because they did take everything from you. Uh, so be sure to uh, pick the place clean. And I'm actually going to uh, blow up these little uh, things. Now, do be careful blowing up these uh, propane tanks. As uh, it will short shoot towards you, so... There we go. As you can see, it uh, shoots uh, out into the hallway, so uh, be careful of that. I'll go ahead and blow this one up as well. Alright, that should be fun. Alright, pick this place clean. Now there is more uh, painkillers and stuff over here, so be sure to grab those. Some more ammo over here. Ahead and grab everything. Pick up that Ingram ammo. There's nothing in the. Oh, okay. I say that, and there's painkillers right there. Uh, there's usually nothing in these like little cardboard boxes. There's definitely something in that one. Let me just smash this stuff because last time I was wrong about it. Okay, we should be good. I'm actually going to go ahead and get my Ingram out. And we're going to go over here. Now, there's two guys in this uh, room right here. Go ahead and get ready. Another newspaper caption for a murder scene. Sweet. Frankie had left his calling card. A Captain Baseball Bat Boy strip next to a sewer passage filled with bodies. You'd better not mess with Captain Baseball, that boy. Even my arch enemy, Bicycle Helmet Girl, swoons at the sight of me. Aha! There were enough corpses to put a mass murderer to shame. And uh, you can look down there, ladies and gentlemen, and you can do definitely see bodies down there. Now, the uh, Captain Baseball Bat Boy uh, will be a recurring theme in the uh, Max Payne uh, games. We'll be seeing more of him in the uh, future. Go ahead and grab that stuff. There's, I don't think there's anything in those. And I think these are empty as well. Alright. Nice. We got everything we need, and... I think I want to use my shotgun. And when you're ready, head just head over to the elevator. 
All right, so we're heading uh, down, uh, ladies and gentlemen. And once we get off, there will be a few mooks to take uh, care of. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna... S so I can definitely hear more guys. Oh god. I've had enough of grenades for this, uh, out of this playthrough. Did he just throw one grenade? I don't know. Okay, there's nobody in there. So we just have to worry about here. Alright, nice. Now there's more painkillers over here if you need them. Go ahead and stock up. And grab all of the ammo, because I will definitely be needing it. And I don't think there's anything in here. Nah. Now coming into this room right here, there will be some more guys at the end. I'm uh, going to go ahead and switch to my Berettas. Probably work out a little bit better. Okay. Is that it? I thought there was another guy. Must be crazy. I could have swore there was another guy around here somewhere. All right, then uh, we're headed uh, back outside, only for a moment, ladies and gentlemen, because uh, if I remember correctly, this is the way we exit. Things were fast, going from bad to worse. The men in blue had come and gone. They had decorated the place with chalk outlines and tied it together with yellow tape. The cops who had stayed behind were dead. Frankie, his boys, and I had the place all for ourselves. Very cozy. So, uh, this is the area where we, uh, originally exited the, uh, hotel the first time. And, uh... This way is closed for right now. We're actually going to be heading uh, this way. I don't think there's anything for me right here. Um, let's go ahead and just keep with the dual Berettas. Just forget about it. <laughs> just forget about it. Hey, just forget about it. That crazy witch, you should have heard her. She was a real scream when the boys caught her trying to cap the Don. Oh, that's friggin' bad. To the trio? That's even worse than what Frankie's doing to that poor bastard downstairs. She's gonna take a long time to die. The mobster muscle on the phone was talking about Mona. Punchinello's trio were nothing but bad news. Alright, so we got uh, quite a few goons in here. Gonna get the sawed off. Alright, there's one. Yeah, smart guys. Maybe. Cause he's coming through this door right now. Okay. I don't... Thought he was coming through. And... Just one more guy in here. Go and get my Desert Eagle. My Deagle. Sweet. Alright. That's all you need to do to take care of those guys. The fact remains that all the victims so far identified in the Ragnarok shooting have been known criminals, many of whom had large doses of V in their blood. Reliable sources say that Max Payne was also among those killed, although no body has been recovered at this time. Reliable sources. That meant somebody thought the Mafia had me. Didn't want the cops snooping around anymore. The 
body would be delivered to them barely recognizable. Case closed. Don Punginello had the power to be that reliable source, which was no news. But his news was old news. Framing me hadn't been enough. Don Punginello had put a hit on me. He wanted me dead, and it had been important enough for him to give written instructions to Frankie about it. Max Payne should die like a dog for the trouble he's caused. Frankie, I know I can trust you to give this matter the dedication it needs. Well, we must be doing uh, something right if uh, they're sending the big guns after us. Alright. Full health? I can't remember the last time I had that. <laughs> I don't know why this makes me laugh so much, <laughs> but it does. Uh, it's funny. Alright, so uh, Frankie is... Uh, let's see, what gun should I use? I'm going to use my dual Ingrams, actually. Frankie is uh, true to his words in the bar catching a cold one. Maybe he'll buy us one, too. The hotel bar was fast developing quite a history. True to his words, Frankie was there, having a beer. Jesus Christ. How the hell did you get loose? Got bored waiting. Thought, what the hell, we could just as well finish this here. Fine by me. This works out. Just... Alright, there well, should be one guy coming through the door. We're close to it. Anyway. Alright, take care of him. Frankie's over there. Being a little bitch. I see you in there. Well, I didn't do shit. Oh, God. Of explosions. Vladimir was back. Bang! You're dead, Max Payne. I might have laughed if I remembered how. What's this supposed to be? Cops and robbers? Look, you want something with me? Get in line. Peace, man. Relax. You know you are a real news item. Armed and dangerous. I am going to make you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. It's a bum rap. I've been framed. Eh, well, that's a moot point. Whatever you did or did not do, I'm sure you had good reason for doing it. Want to hear me out? I'm listening. Pancinello messing with V is bad for business all around. But that's not all. There is this guy, Boris Dine, used to pull jobs for me. He's the captain of the cargo ship Charon. Now the bastard Tirncourt has gone over to the other side, Poncinello's. The ship's loaded with high-res hardware, guns, my business. If Poncinello gets hold of that cargo, he's won and I have lost. And you'll have your work cut out for you. If you want to get to Poncinello, you'll need heavy-duty persuaders. 
I am just the man to get them for you. Change the ship back under my flag, maybe pop two in the traitor dime's head while you're at it. You'll get enough guns to start the apocalypse. You in or out? Let's get this show on the road. Vladimir was one of those old-time bad guys with honor and morals, which made him almost one of the good guys. None of us was a saint. The Brooklyn Riverfront was a maze of rusty containers, sharp bone cranes looming up from the snowstorm. On a night like this, you couldn't help but think of the dark army of dead men sleeping with the fishes, cement shoes in line. No minotaur lurked in this labyrinth, but somewhere out there, on the clanking deck of his cargo freighter, the skipper of the Chiron was waiting, like the ferryman of the river Styx. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be calling it a part right here. Join me next time where we look to uh, up our arsenal with some uh, new guns. If you like this episode, be sure to shoot that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next episode. Thank you all for watching. You guys have a fantastic day.